Now I'm going to introduce you to substitutions in multi-integrals. So the idea here is that you're trying to integrate something that's complicated. You make some sort of substitution and then this complicated thing here will then become a lot easier to work with. But the thing is when you make this substitution um, you need to make some sort of adjustment. Well this adjustment here is you blindly computing what's known as the Jacobian determinant. And then uh, what goes in here would be you putting the absolute value of this thing into here. So for example, if, if, you, if you compute this thing here and it turns out to be negative 3, what goes in that box is the number 3. Um, and for you to fully understand why this works, you need to go beyond calculus 3. So with us, we're just going to um, blindly compute this. But um, I will give you lots of examples to nudge you in the direction as to why we would need to make some sort of adjustments here. Okay? And, um, and cast your mind back to, um, to single calculus. In single calculus, you have something that's complicated. And then you say, let u equals that complicated thing. And then, uh, and then dx equals this thing here. So you would put this into the dx. Well, you, or you, in a way, are making some sort of adjustment when you use this. The advantage of using this is that this thing becomes easier to work with, but you need to make some sort of adjustment, and you also need to make some sort of adjustment in the region, in your region as well, because, because of this, uh, this substitution. So going back to here, going back to here, when you make this substitution, the advantage is that complicated becomes easier to work with but you do need to make some sort of adjustments and you do need to um, to work out to adjust your your region of which you're integrating over and the hard part is in in figuring out what substitution to make well if you look at this um, if you um, if you try and make this to well see this square root and see this square root demand that, that this thing here to be something squared so let let this thing here be v squared because later on when you square root it it becomes v and then see this thing here demand that to be um to be uh you to be something squared because later on you, you're going to square root it and then if you rearrange this it will then give you this thing here so um so work out your your jacobian determinant which um i will explain this in the future okay but the point is this this the point is you put this into here and then and then this is easier to work with um, and also the advantage another advantage is that um, another advantage is that let's say you're trying to integrate something um, over a complicated region so this is your complicated region you you let something equals something and something equals something this complicated region here becomes a lot easier to work with so um, so this so so this line here when you make this substitution this line here becomes this 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 and then your region this region here this region here becomes a lot easier to work with but the thing is when you make this substitution you need to make some sort of adjustment and you need to make some sort of adjustment here and you need to make some sort of adjustment here so now let me try and nudge you in the direction as to why we would need to make some sort of adjustment here so hang on let's say you're trying to integrate um, something over this ellipse this complicated region well if you can somehow um, let something equals something and then something equals something then this ellipse you can morph this into a circle and then this circle becomes a lot easier to work with your region becomes a lot easier to work with so for example um, let's say you're trying to integrate it over this ellipse um, what can you put into here and into the y to make this whole thing here becomes a lot easier so hang on looking at this what I what I put into the x here is, well you could say let x equals let's say let's say um, uh, three u so later on when you square it it becomes simpler and then looking at this here because of because of this four let's say y equals um, uh, two v so now when you put this into here 
it, you, when you square it, it will then become 9u squared over 9. And then when you square this, it becomes um, 4v squared over 4. You see, it would become a lot easier. It would then become a circle. And then a circle um, is a lot easier to work with. So, um, so, that would, so the point here is that this ellipse becomes a circle, which is easier to work with. But we need to make some sort of adjustment. Well, this, is, this adjustment is us working out, blindly working out the, uh, the Jacobian. Remember, we said let, hang on, bear with me. We said let, let uh, x equals 3u, and we said let y equals uh, 2v. So, uh, so that means take the partial derivative of x with respect to u. So when uh, so when when you differentiate this w w with respect to um, to u, it would be the number three. So that would be hang on. So that would be the this block here would be the three. And then uh, take the partial derivative of x with respect to v. Well, there's no v in here. There's no v in here. So this thing here would be zero. This thing here would be zero. And then take the partial derivative of y with respect to u. So y, will, there's no u here. So when you differentiate this, it would be zero. So this thing here would be zero. And uh, take the partial derivative of y with respect to v. Well, with respect to v, there is a v here. So it just becomes two. So the determinant of this thing here would be this times this, which would be six. Take away this times this, which would be zero. So it's really six. So what that means is, what that means is, um, what that means is, oops, what that means is you put the six into here. So what that means is this circle here, six lots of the of these circles would would mean would give you the same as this ellipse. And then in the future, you you um, it doesn't matter if you don't understand this. In the future, you see here, every, x equals everything in terms of u. Y e equals everything in terms of u and v. Um, in the future, you, you can actually do this. Um, u equals something in terms of x and in terms of y. And something in terms of x and in terms of y. Down here, it's x in terms of, I don't know, let's say something v and then something uh, u here. The point here is that um, this, this thing here, six lots equals this thing here. Well, if, in the future, you can go backwards as well. You can jump back and forth. But if you, if you want to go the other way, it would be u times and by 1 over 6 if you want to go backwards. The, the point here is that the, uh, the Jacobian here is 6. But then in the future, and you won't, you won't fully understand this until you see an example. Uh, if, if, you're, if you decided to work in u and v in terms of x and y, x and y here, then you would need to times by 1 over 6. So, so going this way would be, um, would be times it by 6, and then going this way you would times it by 1 over 6, and so on. doesn't matter if you don't fully understand this, but um, when you see some examples, you see what I mean. And you've seen this Jacobian thing in the past as well. Let's say you're, you're trying to um, remember back in polar coordinates, we would say let x equals this, y equals this. And remember, you, you need to stick this some sort of r in here. This happens to be your, your Jacobian, because if you compute the, the uh, Jacobian for this thing here, it would then give you r. So you would put this r into, into your adjustment. That's this R here. That's this R here. This is your Jacobian here. And remember back in um, in spherical coordinates, um, I will leave this to another video, but if you were to work out the Jacobian in, in 3D uh, with three variables, it turns out to be this thing here. Well, remember you, you need to make some sort of adjustment here? Well, you would put this, this adjustment is this thing here. Well, I will leave this to another video and I will explain this in more detail in the future, okay?